Jason Yadlovsky here. Just wanted to show you another quick way that you can enlarge images uh, here in Photoshop. It's very simple. Here I've got uh, an image and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the image menu and go to image size and here you can see it's uh, about 5.5 inches by 8.3 at 72 inches pixels per inch. So what you really want is about 240 or 300 pixels per inch in order to print it. So what I want to do is just come down here to resample, make sure that's clicked on. I want to preserve the details here. And then if you notice a problem with noise, you can use the noise slider here. Uh, I'm not going to use it for this image, but if you think it needs it, you can try that. Um, and then what I want to do is actually, I want to make it an 8 by 10. So an 8, well, we can do 8 by 12. Um, and then what I want is 300 pixels per inch. And then I'm just going to hit OK. Let Photoshop size it up. And then what I want to do is just show you the comparison between the original image that we started with that was at 72 pixels per inch, show you the upscaled image, and then just show you how it compares to the full res image. So here we have our upscaled image to an 8 by 10 or 8 by 12 I guess in this case. So I'm just going to go to range, 3 up vertical. So the first one here is our upscaled JPEG. So I'm just going to zoom in on the head area a little bit here. Um, the next one was the original file, the low res file we started with at 72 pixels per inch. So if I zoom in about the same, you can see that as it got upsized, it actually got a little bit sharper. And then the final image here I have is the actual full res image uh, that I exported from Lightroom. And you can see, obviously, the full res file is the best that you could get or that you could do. But if you only have a smaller low res version of a file and you'd like to print it a little bit bigger, Photoshop does a good job of upscaling it using those settings I discussed in order to bring back some of the detail or bring in some detail and, uh, and get you the pixels per inch that you need to get a decent print. So I hope this was helpful, and we'll see you next time.